<clears throat> Hi there. Welcome to another talk. Um, as you can see before, you know, sometimes I'm doing these talks, um, as long as it's not a video where I'm doing talking to the camera, um, which I do sometimes as well. When I'm doing these kind of talks, sometimes I, I think of what pictures put up, depending on what subject, or if it's like this, a free-flowing talk, where I'm not thinking of anything, I'll just go with the picture or just now what I, what I did was I took some pictures <laughs> you know these are new pictures um yeah at night time if you just came across my stuff um you know I do these talks regular um regarding you know all different subjects but mainly how this journey started was an unexpected spiritual awakening, which happened at the age of 24. The picture put at the start of this, the house, the boarded up house, that's where I used to live over 20 years ago. Um, it's an eight, It was built in the 18th century. And um, I recently, well today, I contacted the person who's owning it and said what's going on. So, um, you know, why is it boarded up? Um, but moving on from that, you know, uh, you know, I think, you know, this is one of them free flowing talks. Um, where, like I say, when I'm doing these kind of talks, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just flowing, and when I'm flowing like that, I'm, I start to channel, um, and information will start flying in. And some people believe you're channeling aliens. Um, I would say that everything comes from nothingness, therefore it's the same. Nothingness is all of infinity, isn't it? So therefore there is no separation, there's just you. This is what started happening to me in this unexpected spiritual awakening just under 10 years ago, and I did nothing to get it. I didn't do any spiritual courses. I, did, I was very depressed. Um, and then one day I sat down and had it, had enough. And then it manifested a spiritual awakening, such a deep moment. And then I started to manifest this miracle path. Um, and it was just an authentic moment of sitting down and I've had it. And then after that point, I started to go through this awakening process. And um, yeah, it's it's been, an amazing path but it's not just me it's it, I found out later because I didn't you know I knew it was spiritual but I found out that people all over the planet have been going through spiritual awakenings for a few years now on the planet especially um because the world is going through a spiritual awakening process itself and what's happened is the energy's changed that's what's happened like um, there's people that talk about Pleiadians now I don't know if it's true but there's one story that, about the Pleiadians said that there was a war or something and they went off to a different part in space to cut a long story short it was very divine energy and that's why they they look like us but they're a lot taller and have evolved quicker but now this planet is in that energy and that's why people have had spiritual awakenings you know the people that haven't had it are probably people who are too busy. You know, the people that you find are having the spiritual awakenings are people that aren't really busy. They're just on their own, you know. And when you're on your own, the, the energy can impact you more if you're distracted in that. That's why in the spiritual community and stuff, you hear this thing about solitude. And um, like me at night, I go to my room, I put my candles on, my lights, and I wait until the tea light candles go out and then I go to sleep. But who knows, maybe that house that I contacted, the people that own it, you know, if it's boarded up, they might actually rent it for cheap or something. So maybe, you don't know what's going to happen, you know. Um, you know, whatever will happen is whatever you are within you because your energy manifests well whatever energy you are within you 
manifest your reality going forward. And this is what I started to realize in the spiritual awakening. Um, where you think the world is doing something to you before you're going through the spiritual awakening. But then as you're going through it, you're starting to realize, wait a minute, everything becomes like a mirror. And you're realizing the way I am within me is manifesting this outward reality because it all comes from within us. It all comes from within. Right? Everything is frequency. And when you're tuned into a certain frequency, you have a different reality. The physical reality has to follow the energetic reality because it is the energy, energetic um, reality. Um, and yeah, this um, spiritual awake started off as a spiritual awakening. I started going through it and now when I look at, you know, my, 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 the way my life is going now, um, it's, I mean, this path is amazing. And what starts to happen is once you start to go through the awakening, you, st you start being very heart-based. Heart-based living is actually a science. And when, you st when, when I started to go through this, I s you start to, to be more heart-based and live from there. And it just changes your whole reality to, to more of a reality where you're doing things what, what is, that is serving your heart-based thing. You know, and when you're doing that, you're going by what you feel in the situation. And as you're living from there, that is changing your intentions, it's changing your vibration, it's changing your thoughts, your ideas. And what's happening is the, there's an alignment. The Heart the Heart Math Institute talks about this, that it's creating an alignment with the heart and brain, but the heart, brain is now developing into heart-based thoughts, intentions that are based on the heart. And this is just the spiritual awakening. Now... Um, when I had the spiritual awakening, it was such a rough experience. But I know that I had this so that you don't have to have it, so I can pass this on. Um, and, you know, but the Heart Math Institute, basically what the Heart Math Institute is talking about is spiritual awakening, but there's all different ways to spiritually awaken. But if we want to change the world, then it's what is required for change. Because once you... St now, you don't have to have an awakening like me. You can start to live from your heart space. Um, and you can you can spiritually awaken. Because that's what's ultimately happening when you spiritually awaken. It's just that it's rougher if it's like me. Because I didn't know what was happening. But, I knew, but it's so synchronistic and perfect. I realise now that, I was, that I, I was meant to have it that way. So that I could teach you to have it a nicer way. So you see that the rough or the dark manifest the light and they work together as one. Because <clears throat> they are one. Um, and that's the... See, once you start to tune into the heart area and you start to spiritually awaken, this is what the system is terrified of. This is what the, de the demonic forces at the top that control the 1% is terrified because the demonic forces work outside this demand, this reality, feeding off our anxiety. But it come that energy, that demonic force came from within us because we create reality from what's within us. But that re that energetic thing is is in panic now because of the fact that the energy is returning to love and oneness, and therefore this energy can't get its feed. And ultimately what we're going through, it's teaching us a lot and it's something that we're meant to go through and we have to go through as we're just as we're going through it. But yeah, um, you know, every but you know, I don't mean to sound big headed or anything, um, because I'm not, but the only people that know about heart based living or anything like that is the people that have really had this, that have had the spiritual awakenings, right? Those are the people that you need to listen to. Um, and ultimately they can show you that, there's, that the power is within you, right? No spiritual teacher is greater than, you, than um, your soul. And that's what you must listen to. 
right? Because even though I'm telling you this information, it's not me that's that's the power, it's within you, and that's what I'm telling you. The same message that, that well, Jesus Christ apparently said the same thing. The kingdom of heaven is within you. So that means when he says follow me, that means don't it means do what I'm doing. But not bow like a little sheep, like a little pathetic sheep. Right? You have to go within you if you want to change your reality because it all starts with you. You know, you can't people expect change without changing themselves. It doesn't work. You want to make change? Go look in the mirror. I've said this to people before and they don't like it because because they know that that's the hardest thing to change. But it's the thing, once you change yourself, you change your energy you're occupying and that energy interacts with whoever and you, that's how you change the world properly. That's how you change the world. Um, yeah. It's all within the heart area. But yeah, the Heart Math Institute talks about this. and But <clears throat> the way I went through it was unexpected, um, traumatic. <clears throat> um, because I decided. and But automatically, because I was so authentic in that moment, it manifested this awakening. And then it started to be heart-based and stuff. Didn't know what was going on. Took me years to work out what was actually happening properly um, so you can imagine the kind of confusion that that leaves you with but now I understand it all you know and um, as I'm going on this path I'm gaining greater understanding and awareness and clarity as I'm going through it and the truth is yeah it's all within you it's not, an, it's not Jesus that you must bow to it's not anyone else it's you just listen to go with the heart space that, and the gut is related to that you see because everything comes from your feelings what you feel within your heart space manifests what you're likely to do in the external world your decisions you're going to make so once so it's all about just tuning into the heart heart space um all the time and sometimes test yourself you know think a thought random thought then go with what the heart and what does that say and you'll notice that the heart's intentions is pure it's the purest and best and best intentions for the situation and as you're doing this more and more you're you're you become more pure um, and angelic as well because <clears throat> ultimately we are all angelic um and the heart area is the is the doorway to that angelicness you know that's that's the thing we are all just floating around, but in a, in a in a dream that we're in a in a physical body. Like in dreams, you know, when you're flying in dreams and you're really high up in the sky, and you're crashing down to earth. That's basically what we're doing. We're all fallen angels. Fallen meaning you're in a body, so you're having a dream of that that it's fallen. Um, but you're just infinity. You can do anything. You are doing it. You're doing everything that's going on because, like I say, if everything everything has to come from nothingness, that's one infinity. You're it. Everyone is infinity, and everyone's the same one infinity, but but infinite different um, versions of it. Right? It's so vast and infinite, and that's why it's crazy when you get some people and they think they're so right. They don't see that. There's limitlessness, just limitlessness. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what it, limitlessness, that's what it is. Limitlessness. But like I say, the heart, in the heart, in the heart area, that is how you access this limitlessness. Because that's the, that's the vortex, the doorway to what I call the heaven self. That's the you that lives in heaven. Heaven is a place near death experiencers talk about it. And that is where a version of you lives. And when you go within the heart area, you're connecting with that. That's why your intentions are pure, because it's it's coming from the heaven realm. But I'm just going to leave it there. Um, for latest updates, um, talks like this, please do visit. Please do check my website at www.lovelikefamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.